Getting noticed as a high school football player out of the Rockford area has been a challenge for potential recruits over the years. A local trainer hopes to change that with an upcoming camp. Tim Bailey works with some of the top athletes in the Rockford area. Now he's using his connections to bring in some high-level media scouting services to try to help football players in the 815 get noticed. We're excited to have that type of company um, at an event like this. Um, we are the only event um, you know, within a 30-mile radius that has the opportunity to bring guys like this in to assess some talent. Many high school players who shine on Friday nights struggle to catch the attention of college coaches. It's a grueling process. I mean, let me state that, number one, and, and, and definitely be, um, you know, parents need to be aware of that. It's, a, it's an evolving roller coaster, to be honest with you. Um, you know, you could be right now being get, getting recruited by Illinois. Um, you know, you're a, you're a 20, 24 kid or 2025 kid. You know, all of a sudden they get wind of another kid in another area. Um, you know, then, you know, your, your child who was actually possibly getting recruited by Illinois may no longer get recruited by Illinois. Despite some NFL success stories like Dean Lowry, James Robinson, and now Vidarian Lowe, the Rockford area is not always targeted by bigger schools. It's a very big world, and there's a lot of scouts and everything that will just pass over us. You know, I ask, you know, the question, why don't you come to Rockford? And it's usually, uh, you know, the academic issue here in Rockford, um, and then also, too, just the lack of talent. Um, and I'm not... I'm not in agreements with either, to be honest with you. I think we do have some bright, intelligent student athletes here in the area. Um, and then we also, too, have some good, we have a good crop of athletes here in this area, too. It's just about really getting these coaches out here, um, the media coaches out here, to be able to get their naked eye on these athletes. Hananiga's Isaac Wisenand spent a good chunk of last summer going on road trips to camps, often accompanied by his mom, Chris. He understands what it means when the bigger recruiting media services are in attendance. It kind of ups Annie a little bit. You got to make sure that you have you're on your you're on your game, and that you uh, you know that you're in in the right spot. You know that you're going to be around some of the top recruits in your area or maybe in the nation sometimes. Isaac says he went to at least a dozen camps, sometimes two in a weekend, to try to get his name out there. According to Bailey, that's what it takes to get noticed in a hotly contested recruiting world, made even more challenging by the transfer portal in college football. Parents, you know, not, you know, afraid to hit the road, not to, you know, afraid to take that trip to Nebraska, go to Nebraska camp just to, you know, so their son Johnny or Sam can showcase, you know, the talent that they have. Isaac will start his college football career at Ellsworth Community College in Iowa. He hopes to make himself more marketable for a bigger school in a couple of years. I think it's just going to be a lot of development. And, you know, it might be a little bit of a learning curve, but that's something that's going to have to happen if I want to play at a higher level. As for Isaac's parents, who had to watch him go through the highs and lows of pursuing football at the next level. I think sometimes they might be a little bit more stressed than I am, but, I mean, you know, it's, it's part of the process. It's just sometimes there's things you can't control and things you can't. It's just how you react to them. Getting their name out there is the first step. Once they get that foot in the door, it's up to the players to carve their own path to success. Bailey's Northern Illinois College Exposure Camp is set for May 29th at SportsCore 2's Wedgebury Stadium. The deadline to register is May 24th.